much in need of your help. Okay. My contacts tell me that Starfleet has rejected my request for military assistance. That is regrettable, but not unexpected. The Tal Shiar are formidable opponents, as are the forces directing their action. I understand why the Federation would hesitate to engage them directly. So today I appeal to you, not as an ally in battle, but as a person of compassion. My people need your help. I need your help. One of our ships was carrying a load of Thaleron weapons through the Nopata system. That ship has disappeared. There are no indications there was a battle. It's as if my ship and its cargo simply vanished. I know you have your reservations about the lengths to which I will go to secure the freedom of my people. Tell me, if you do not trust me with Thaleron weapons, do you want Hakiv to have them? I can provide you with the last coordinates of the vessel. Please help me. Do what you will with the weapons, if they survive. But find my people. Okay, so we need to go to the Napada system. It's located in that sector block and search for a missing Riemann vessel. Uh, we'll get experience points, expertise, and a Riemann prototype variant shield. Ah, and some Dilithium. Okay, so let's accept that. The Riemann resistance is very much in need of your help. Commander, <clears throat> I am not reading any active vessels on the scanners. There is, however, a debris field nearby. <clears throat> it's cluttered around a satellite in orbit of the planet, and the composition of the debris corresponds to the ships that have gone missing in this region. I'll keep scanning, sir, but we'll need to take a closer look before I can determine if there are any Thaleron weapons on one of those hulks. Okay, <clears throat> well let's uh, scan this magnetite ore. So there's uh, some gas over here. So let's uh, do that. <coughs> okay, let's uh, turn around then, and then we can scan the ship. I'm not detecting the vessel that OPSEC sent to find, send us to find, but all the ships in this debris field show someone's have been affected by the same thing. The high frequency energy beam that overloaded all their systems. If the Riemann ship was hit by that beam, it might have crashed into plant service or gone adrift somewhere else in the system. <coughs> I'm detecting energy readings from the satellite, sir. If the Riemann crew detected them as well, they could have tried to use it to record a distress signal. We need to be closer before I can attempt an uplink with the satellite's communications array. Hmm, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Warning. Ship See? is under attack. Oh dear. Let's scan the satellite. We're stuck. This beam is holding us like a fly in a spider's web. We've managed to keep life support and environmental systems active, but most everything else is offline. Shields, weapons, engines, nothing works. I'm not detecting any life signs on the satellite, but there is a compartment with a life support. The systems operating the beam must be automated. The chief says we have enough power in the backups 
for one transport. Recommend we send a team over to that satellite and find a way to turn the beam off. Okay. We're ready to beam over to the satellite on your orders, sir. Right, let's beam over then. Okay. Captain, the consoles here appear to control the beam that drained power from the Vera, but there is a security lock preventing access. We need to find a usable console. Right, okay then, let's see if we can find a usable console. Hmm. Locked. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. Well, let's head round here and up the ramp. Let's see if there's any consoles we can use up here. This console doesn't appear to be locked like the others. Whoever did this must not have thought that the console used for inventory control was important. I think I can access a back door to the rest of the satellite's programs from here. I see the problem. The Romulan consoles are causing a lockout by forcing the satellite's primary processors to run through a series of equations and removing key bits of information from the answers, which causes the processors to lock up. If we can solve these equations and input the correct information directly into the consoles, the security lock and the satellite's control should be released. I've downloaded the corrupted equations into the console for you to work on. Solve the equations, lock in the processors. If you need help, consult the bridge officer. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is going to be good. That should be seven. Four, four, seven, nine. That should be one, five. Five four. So uh, let's put five in position. Yep. And I presume because they've gone green that they're correct. So uh, what's the next one? Two eight nine one. So we need nine and then twenty six thirteen thirty nine. Oh, skipped one. There we go, numbers are correct, and there's some more. Oh good. This is going to be interesting.
that should be 63. Uh, uh, six. And three. Okay, they've gone green. Right, next one. Seventy-five. Now that needs to be a one, and that needs to be a seven. There we go. And then there's more, is that? Oh, good God! Right. <coughs> should be 4400 then. In. We've solved the equations that were causing issues in the other consoles. Now we need to plug these correct values into the console control in the security lock, and then we should be able to access all the satellite's major operations. Use the solutions to the equations to release the security lock. Okay. Let's zoom in. So there's one two, three, possibly, there. So... One round the corner. Somewhere. Oh. Let's grab that while it's on the floor. There we go. So... Long-range scanners. Okay, let's unlock it with the code. Okay, so they're all active. Um, now we need to unlock the other two, I think. Let's input the code. Yep. Let's exit. There's another one out here somewhere. And also, something we can pick up here. Let's get that all. Okay, there we go. So that's not this console and do that yep there we go 
unlocked. <clears throat> right. Let's start with the furthest console, I think. This one. Right. Captain, this console controls the satellite's targeting functions. I'm not sure if there's a way to disable whatever it is that's the disabling systems on our ship, but if we can get this satellite to target something else, we may have a chance of prying our ship free. Okay then, um Access long range sensors. Um, let's expand it to the furthest range. Oop, so it's detected another derelict hulk. That seems uh, promising. Um, open the ship identification program. Okay, let well, we don't want our ship active, so let's try reclassifying to the derelict. Yep, okay. Uh, examine the te telemetric data. Okay. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Um, access targeting control. Uh, we don't want our ship as the priority, so let's select the Hulk. There we go. New target selected, okay. The satellite has ensnared a piece of debris near the ship. Its stranglehold on us is weaker, but we're not out of the woods yet. Critical systems are stable, but we still don't have weapons or long-range communications. Okay, well let's go to one of those other consoles then. Start with this one. Okay. Power generator control. Right. This console looks like it controls the satellite's power supply. Since we aren't able to free our ship by targeting something else, perhaps we can decrease the power to the satellite's weapon. Then the Vera might be able to break free. Okay, update power save modes. Can't pay power user. Triggered save mode never. Power full. Um, well, we're trying to reduce power, so let's try economical. Power save mode set to OK. Power allocation minimal. OK, that seems promising. OK, set the process priority. Okay, let's try restoring factory resets. Okay. We found that if the Vera does not attempt to move or fire at the satellite, that it will engage a low power version of the beam affecting us. It's almost like an energy saving mode. We can use that to our advantage. At least we won't have to worry about life support. We'll hold the ship stable and keep working on boosting the power to critical systems while you try to disrupt the satellite's functions and free us. Okay. Okay, well that seemed to work. Yeah. No power going through those anymore. 
those up there, so okay, so where's the other, ah, there's the other console. <coughs> This console controls the satellite's general operations. We've managed to minimise the power output of the satellite. I think if we keep it, we can switch the satellite's controls over to a sleep mode that will shut down everything but life support and power. Okay. Change the operational state. Right, current state is on, so we don't need to put it back to on, so let's go okay systems are coming back online all over the ship we have weapons shields even the replicators are working again always think about your stomach eh that transporters are standing by sir we can beam you back as soon as you're ready okay let's return to the ship then This isn't the ship. This is the cage. Uh, okay. Where am I? Hmm. Okay. Now what? Now we fight, or we die. Oh, okay. Make sure you pick up a melee weapon. All of your gear is deactivated, and I won't protect you in there. Let's collect that while we're here. And what was that? What are those weapons over there? I've never seen those weapons used before by anyone in the arena. I think the mercenaries who act as the occasional guard thought that those weapons might actually be worth something, unlike the beat up ones they let us use. My best guess is that they're looking to sell them at some point when their contract here is up for some extra money. But until we find a way to get past these horse fields, those weapons don't really concern us. Okay, well, can we pick one up? Hmm. Looks like it. Okay, so we got a Norsican sword. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to equip that. If we want to use it. Um, so, which weapon do we want to take off temporarily? That one. Uh, let's put it there so we don't forget about it. Let's equip the sword and we will switch to it. There we go, switch to it. And we must remember that the temple probe is around here somewhere. Let's show... There's the turrets. Well, it's not obvious on the mini-map, so maybe it's not... Well, it should be in this area somewhere. We just have to keep an eye out for it. Right, and... Looks like we need to collect one of the other weapons as well. Mm. We've already got a sword. 
Let's get alert. That'd be fun. Remember to equip your new weapon. Uh, oh, can we pick up more than one though? Let's have a look. Oh. Oh, we can collect all of them. Okay. I couldn't do that over there, could I? No. You just got whatever it, uh, whatever it gave you. Oh, okay. No problem. But, uh, we'll keep the, that um, sword that we picked up enabled because uh, it's a rare um, sword whereas the other weapons that we've just picked up are just worn weapons of common um, uh, thing right so let's carry on then So I guess we're going to have to let him tackle that while we just uh, go and collect some of this stuff. Anything else of interest? Can't see anything on a quick scan, so... Oh, oh okay. Alright then. Go and test out this sword. Hmm. Not too bad, I suppose. Oh. Proceeding to test three. I have to remember though that uh, unlike um, phaser weapons and things, the melee weapons, you have to actually select the target to attack it. Let go of me, right. Prisoner one four seven eight. Remain in the area for interrogation. Prisoner, return to holding area. Failure to comply will result in punishment. All right, well, I guess we uh, return to the cell. Definitely nothing, no. No temporal probe there that I can say. Okay. Then we just wait to be let out. Yeah. All right, let's talk to this guy. What do you want? I do not wish to continue talking with you. Hi Rich Oppen. thanks for following, welcome. Right. What do you want? Um, who are you? My name is Slamek. I am part of a resistance. Perhaps you have heard of it? About a week ago, I was part of a crew ferrying weapons from one base to another. When we passed through this system, a satellite disabled our ship. It drifted into the planet's atmosphere. I activated the emergency transporter, and a few of us were able to transport to safety before the ship crashed in the desert. 
We were looking for shelter and a way to contact our people when a group of soldiers found us. They took us here and kept throwing us into the arena. Now I'm the only one remaining. That is all I know. What kind of soldiers? I don't know who was responsible for this place. The trainers and the guards all appear to be mercenaries, without any clue about what's going on. They're paid to keep us in cages and look the other way. The night I was brought in, I was interrogated. There were bright lights in my eyes and a synthetic voice asking me questions. Whoever it was, to care to conceal his identity. Well, I don't want to be antagonistic towards him. So... Any idea what they want with us? I have no idea what they want with us, or why they make us fight. This all seems like some sort of giant game. But there is no one in the stands to be entertained. Uh, am I the only person you've been paired with so far? I've had several partners in my battles. You are the only one about which I've been questioned. You must have impressed our masters. I know you have impressed me. I believe the only ones here. I think there are others. I hear other fights. If there are other prisoners, I have never been able to contact them. We are kept separated and caged, unless we are fighting. Uh, is there any way out of there? The trainers carry key cards. That's the only way I know to get through the defenses. Do you think we can get one of those cards? Can I trust you? No, but yes. I can see that we think the same way, <laughs> friend. A few years ago, I worked as a bodyguard for a Ferengi merchant. He had a talent for acquiring latinum. And during my time with him, I learned a few things. I was able to lift a key card from one of the trainers during my interrogation. If you help me, I think we can overpower the guards and escape through the main door in the arena. Okay, so we need to get out. Okay, so... Wait to be let out then, I guess. Okay. Return to the arena. Okay. Well, let's follow. Okay. Oh, oh sandworms. Try to free the other prisoners. You fight the worms. Health, I think, over there. What's next? Oh, a giant worm. Uh oh. Use the consoles on the sides of the arena to fight the elder worm. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. That's going to be helpful. The other one? Not yet. Mm. Gonna have to attack worm. Mm. 
die worm die right come on let's get the next one remembering to target them with your target key which in my case is tab yeah. oh no big worm again only need to come so just like last time yeah use the remaining console on the side of the arena to fight the elder oh worm. no it's not that one okay mm -hmm. no where is it come on go 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 This way is it? I've been hit! Enemy I can't no. continue, my friend! You'll need to protect me! Oh, come on! this console Enemy on there's consoles all over the place which one are we supposed to get Pick up those plants around the arena to give you a little bit of health back. Right, let's go. Right, what do we have to do? Now oh, we've got to defeat the worm, have we? Okay. Console over there. Ah, there we go. The worm destroyed the metal wall. Run, that's our way out. Where? Not down there. Down this way. Ooh, Run what's it? Base here. What did they want with us? And what is that device? Mm -hmm. Let's just have a quick look around. See if there's a temple probing. Ah, there it is. Let's unlock this temple probe. Okay, what we got? 
four and six. I think that's nine. Then eight. Map three. Oh, yep. The McCall have been surreptitiously copying the findings of the computers here, gathering information from the experiments from various species in the area, uh, in the arena. There's data on me in there. I don't know whether to be flattered or disgusted. Oh. <laughs> Got him with my sword. <laughs> right, okay, let's see what these consoles have to say. parameters to develop a matrix of alpha quadrant species okay research observations Records for prisoner fourteen seventy eight. Captured along with a small group of Riemann soldiers by a desert patrol. Interrogation inconclusive. Recommend use of a holographic conditioning. So is that Riemann we've just met? Prisoner 1478? Which means we might not be able to trust him. Personal log. I think this might be the uh, first time we um, get any information on the Iconians. I don't think until now we've heard of them. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, I think we've done that. Right, so what about the other console? That's disabling the dampening field. What about this one? It appears as if we have created this laboratory as rig controls to an Iconian gateway. We might be able to pull some information off the logs. <coughs> Next, let's see the last five destinations. Hmm, okay. Oh. Um, communications? Our master's patience wears thin, Mackie. The time grows short, and <clears throat> still you have not provided all the species data that they require. Are you having trouble acquiring targets? I provide you with the necessary technology to modify the satellite in the Nepada system, but your little snare is slow. What we need is more test subjects, perhaps a small colony would be enough. I will contact you again to work out the details. Hmm, okay. Access gateway controls, biometric signature mismatch, access denied, gateway shut down in 10 seconds. Hmm. Okay, can't do anything with that then. Right, let's disable the uh, dampening field then. Hmm. We don't get caught, we get. Right. <coughs> Now that we have some real weapons, and I've disabled my shot collar, let's get out of here. That waste pipe has need out of this place. Right, climb through waste pipe. Okay, I don't think there's any other consoles. We unlock the temple probe. Right, well, let's go then. Oh, we've gone under the water. Scorpion fighters overhead. They're looking for us. We need to move quickly and smartly to avoid detection. I recommend we head to the east. See that mountain in the distance? My ship crashed on the other side. It may have something we can use to signal your vessel. The search for us will only get more intense the longer we stay here. We need to get away from the arena as quickly as possible. Okay then. We could do that. So, uh, head for the arrow. Mind the cactus. There's a fighter heading straight for us. Oh. Quick, take cover in those dark rocks over there and wait for it to pass overhead. Okay. Stay still and wait for that fighter to pass overhead. We are fortunate. Ooh. They won't detect us. Uh -huh. Is he going to go through the mountain? He didn't see us. That's nearly. I right. can't go on. Ooh. My injuries from the arena are too painful. Let's go and pick that up. To rest for a moment. All right, we've got that since we spotted it, so let's continue. Follow the arrow. <clears throat> there we go, head over towards that marker. And, okay. Um, right, let's have a chat. Forgive me, my friend, but the pain... I need to rest, just for a moment. My wounds are agonizing. 
I fear the worm's venom may have infected me. The pain is excruciating. My vision is blurred, and my blood burns in my veins. Before we were captured, my science officer said that the local plants here have medicinal qualities. Please, I need your help. Find something to ease my suffering. I need something to disinfect my wound, something to treat my fever, and anything that will ease my pain. Thank you, my friend. I know that I would have died today if it weren't for you. Okay, I'll see what I can find. Right, so we need to find a way to treat uh, Samek. So, I presume it's some of these glowy things. <coughs> this plant looks like it would work as a disinfectant. It is astringent enough to clear out any possible infection that Samek might have contracted from the worm's attack. But you think you need more than one sample of this type of plant to deal with the injury as severe as his. This type of plant grows in the washes of the desert. Look for it in large flat areas. Okay. Right, so we'd need three of those then. There's another one. And one more. Okay, so that's that one. Let's see, what else do we need? What about this? What's this? This plant looks like it will work as an antipyretic. It should help to alleviate Selmax fever. Unfortunately, this particular plant doesn't look healthy and you aren't getting much sap from it. You need to find more robust samples of this plant before you treat Selmax injuries. This type of plant likes sunny and windy growing conditions. Look for it at the tops of hills and mountains. Okay. So... This way? Oh yeah, it looks like there might be some over here. <coughs> Maybe? Well, the arrow was pointing this way, so it must be over here somewhere. Ah. That looks like it might be one. Ah, several. Okay, good. Right, let's collect the bark. We only need two of those. Right, now we need to find the analgesic. So what can we scan for that? There must be something around here that we can scan for that one. No, perhaps it's over by him. Probably those bulbous things. Oh no, what's that? This plant has analgesic qualities. It won't be as strong as anything you have in the med bay on the Vera, but it would take the edge of the Selmax pain. That might be enough to get him on his feet again. This type of plant grows in the shade. Look for it on the sides of hills and cliffs. Okay, 
And we've got an arrow pointing that way, so it must be over this way somewhere. <coughs> Is it going to be below the cliff? Ah, there might be some. Can we reach it? Yep, just about. Right, that's... Ah, we only needed one of those. Good. Right, let's get back. Right, there he is. Let's treat him. Thank you, my friend. I'm feeling better now. I think I can continue. Okay. Head to the canyon entrance. Right, and that's in that direction. Okay. Looks like now that we're in the canyon, we shouldn't have to worry about the fighters anymore. Just the local wildlife. Keep your eyes open. Okay, so can we pick? Now oh, we can scan this, so let's scan this. There we go. Let's carry on. He said to watch out for wildlife, so we need to watch out for the wildlife. Oh, it's a bit dark in here. Oh, oh, there they are. I think at this point you can use your normal weapons again, but uh, why not use our uh, melee sword since we've got it? There we go. Make short work of them anyway. Right, let's carry on. <clears throat> Shouldn't be too far from the cave. Oh, there's some more wildlife. Can we... Yeah, we can use our abilities again. Oh, he's going to attack the fire. <laughs> That's clever. Oh. <laughs> and he took care of that one. Right, let's carry on. Ah, it's rather a long run. <clears throat> I think this is one of the longer missions. It's got several parts to it. Going up this way. The weather isn't going to hold out for too much longer. We should look for a place to spend the night. I've noticed that there are things we can gather along the way to make our night more pleasant. Oh, okay. We need to talk to him. Right, let's turn around. There he is. The search patrols are moving on. We will not survive a night in this desert. We need to find shelter and safety. If we can scavenge provisions to create a camp, we'll have a better chance of reaching the wreckage of my ship alive. What do we need? We will need water if we are to survive. I've noticed gourds growing in this area. If we can hollow one out, it will give us a container to carry water. And there should be a few small springs near this mountain. Right, okay. Another gathering mission then. Um... Oh, it looks like 
if you're a science officer you, get, you have to find water and if you're tactical or engineer you have to find something else yeah. I like it when missions uh, um, give you tasks to do with your uh, ability or your um, captain training <clears throat> rather than just generic go and do this go and do that at least then if you play a captain or a tactical or engineer on another playthrough you get a different option oh no oh no got to find another one right let's go and find another one <clears throat> Ah, here's another one. Let's try that one. More spiders. Darn, now I've got to find another one. There's one here somewhere. No, not that one. Could do with a torch. Huh. Well, I don't see it. Try and find another one then. Unless that's the one that we picked up just now. You should remove the marker when you um, pick it up or interact with it. So that'd be the other one that we interacted with, so we'll have to find the other one then. Where are you? Up here somewhere. Should be one over here somewhere. Where are you? There you are. Right, let's hope this one works. Ah, there we go. Now we got to find the water. Ah, there we go. Let's fill up our gourd. That should last us through the night. Let's get into this cave before the temperature drops anymore. Okay, let's go and find this cave then. I suppose it gives a little bit of variety having to find things and and do different things rather than just fighting all the time. <coughs> Is that the cave up there? Looks like it. Ah, here we go. Oh. The temperature is dropping rapidly now. This cave should protect us from the elements. I've done some exploring. It looks like this cave continues when the sun the rises the side of the mountain. We could save time and energy by using the passage instead of trying to find a path over the mountain. Excellent. The passage saved us hours. This of could walking. be a good day. Let's find my ship. My right. ship isn't far from here. I think I can make out smoke from the wreckage on the horizon. Really? Look, 
can't see any smoke yet. <laughs> right, let's get going then. There she is. Ah. She wasn't much to look at, but she was ours. And when we mm. were flying through space, we were free. Perhaps she can help us one last time. Okay then. Let's go down and take it a close look. Oh, that was totaled, wasn't it? Okay, where are we going? Time we should check to see if the emergency beacon survived the crash. But, in the likely event it didn't, we might be able to piece together some components to create a makeshift emergency beacon. Okay, then. Um, okay, so we're going here, do we? Oh, what's that? Ooh. There is no way this vessel will ever fly again. The damage done by the fall through the planet's atmosphere is severe. If the emergency distress beacon wasn't vaporized in the crash, it's probably buried under 30 meters of rock and sand, like the Singularity Drive and the cargo bays. <clears throat> you do, however, find a backup generator with a minuscule amount of energy left. If you had the right components, you think you could construct a makeshift subspace beacon to contact your ship. You won't be able to do anything more than transmit a few pulses to let your crew know where you are. But it should do the trick. Okay. Right, so we've got to find some usable equipment, presumably outside the ship. Right. Go this way. <coughs> ah, over there. Here we go. Right. Take parts from the communication array. Okay, and we need a nav beacon and a subspace distortion inverter. Right, so they should be over in this direction. <coughs> um, over here somewhere. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's that. So we need to now find... There it is. Nav beacon. Attach the emergency beacon to the ship's power source. Okay. Connect makeshift's emergency beacon to power source. Wait for rescue outside. Okay. Uh-oh. What's this? Did you think you could run from me? There is no place where I cannot find you. My spies are everywhere. Prisoner 1478, take your place. You did your job admirably. It is good to know at least one Riemann understands who is the master and who is the slave. 
The loss of the listening post was a minor setback. The Remen's refuge in the Dara system has been destroyed. Dozens of subjects have been tested in my arena. When the Iconians return, they will find I have done all they have asked, and more. But you will not be there on that dreaded day. This tiresome game ends now. You could have been such a fascinating test subject, but this time, no. This time I think a more direct approach is best. Ready? Aim? No! <laughs> okay. I apologize for Slamic's action. I had no idea there was a traitor in our midst. If his actions caused harm to you or your crew, forgive me. That was not my intent. <coughs> However, your trip to the Nopata system was not in vain. Now you see. Now you know. Hakiv is a pawn of a greater power. The demons of air and darkness are here. You should report to your superiors. Tell them what you have seen here. Open their eyes to the dangers that lurk in the shadows. Okay, right. So, we're going to get some experience points and expertise. Uh, a shield array. And some dilithium. Okay, continue. 